a welcome respite from violence finally came Wednesday morning. But the atmosphere in Jerusalem these days is far from pleasant. Even if tensions have decreased a little, one can still feel the friction in the air. Our main emphasis at the moment is to prevent those types of incidents from taking place, uh, both in and around the different uh, Arab neighborhoods, Issaouia, Silwan, Badi Jaws, Ras al and the other areas, um, in order to uh, decrease the tension around the Temple Mount area. A great number of checkpoints, like this one, have been set up near the various entrances to the Temple Mount, known to Muslims as the Haram al-Sharif, or Noble Sanctuary. Border police patrols have also been increased in the narrow streets and alleys surrounding the compound. There is little true discourse between the sides here these days, with the Israeli government determined to ensure Jewish access to the Temple Mount, while young Palestinians claim their willingness to continue what they call the battle for Al-Aqsa. The Al-Aqsa Mosque belongs to the Muslims. We are here to protect it and to make sure the settlers don't enter it. I repeat, it's ours and not theirs. We won't wait and do nothing. On Wednesday, Jews were able to visit the Temple Mount compound without major incidents occurring. Their number included right-wing activist Yudha Glick, who noted the situation was relatively calm. But clashes were still taking place Tuesday night between Palestinians and Israeli security forces in various East Jerusalem neighborhoods. And indeed, the violence of the last few days has once again renewed talk of a third intifada. The dramatic increase in rock-throwing incidents in Jerusalem and its surroundings led the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to make some bold statements Wednesday. We are in favor of strictly maintaining the status quo on Temple Mount. The status quo is constantly upset by agitators and rioters who barricade themselves on Temple Mount and harass worshippers, or, more precisely, the Jewish visitors. This is also unacceptable to us. We are dealing with this in cooperation and dialogue with Jordan, and not only with them. We are changing policy. The present situation is unacceptable, and we intend to provide soldiers and police officers with the tools necessary to act very firmly against those who throw stones and firebombs. The stone does not distinguish between a car hit here, in which an Israeli citizen was killed, and a rock thrown within the Green Line. Rumors of Netanyahu's potential visit to Jerusalem's old city are said to have been the origins of this demonstration of Palestinian women in the Temple Mount compound. The organization known as al Morabitun, whose members verbally harassed Jews visiting the site, has been declared illegal by Israel. Still, it continues its activities in the vicinity of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. While this day has seen a decrease in violence so far, in Jerusalem, these kinds of situations tend to heat up as evening falls. A tense period lies ahead. Shabin Ari, I-24 News, the old city of Jerusalem.